and gentlemen, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your files over the wireless network or the Wi-Fi network from your phone to your computer. First, we're going to set up an FTP server on your phone, and then we're going to set up a client, an FTP client on your computer, and download whatever you want from your phone to your computer. I don't exactly know why you would want to do this, Maybe you're one of those who wants to do everything on the air. Or maybe you just have a very good phone, which is a USB port broken. Regardless, let's get to work. Let's download this FTP server app on our phone. I'm going to go to the barcode scanner. Um, just because I would like to be fancy and I want to use a QR code. You don't have to do this at all. You can just go and go to the Play Store, search for FTP server, and then download the FTP server. This is the URL that you see on the screen where the FTP server is, and I'm opening it with the Play Store. As soon as I open it, I'm going to install it to my phone. It is important to note that the phone already has to be on the local network, local wireless network. If it is not, then this app won't be working. We won't be able to connect to it. Let's open the FTP server. Now, I'm just going to change the default username and password just for the demonstration purposes. I'm going to make the username B and then password Y. And I have to enter this in my FTP client when I'm connecting to my phone. And then let's start running the FTP server. It runs on 192.168.0.12. Now let's go back to our client. We're going to use the FTP client, the native FTP client that comes with our terminal in Mac, in our Mac. I just FTP to the IP address 192.168.0.12. At port 2121. Now I'm entering the SD card directory. This I'm browsing my phone right now. I'm connected from my computer to my phone. And then I'm going under once I'm in my SD card, I'm looking for my where my photos are. They're under DCIM. I've done this before. I went into a bunch of directories and finally I found it there. And then under DCIM, there's a directory called camera where my zillions of photos are residing. And then we're just entering there. As you see, this is the command line FTP client. And I'm doing everything one at a time. The download command for FTP is get. Now I'm going to download a file. I'm just looking for a, a file that's relatively small in size. It's a JPEG file. It's a photo. Just to show you how to download it, I just copied the name of the file. I'm getting this. This is real time, so it takes only a few seconds to get. It's about 2.2 something megabytes. So it only takes a few seconds to get that. But the reason we went through all this pain to install an FTP server and a client is to get a bunch of files at once. The command for that is mget. Unfortunately, this server does not support mget. The server that we've installed this uh, FTP server app that we've installed on our phone. So what we could do is we could just use an FTP, another FTP client, which we can install to our Mac. Uh, in this case, I'm doing, I'm installing FileZilla, which supports multiple, downloading multiple files at once uh, without using mget. Now I'm downloading it from the direct link. And once it's downloaded, I'm going to open it and I'm going to install it to my computer. And then open the app and enter the same IP address to connect to my phone again with the same username and password and port 2121. And these are set on the phone. So you can change it. Now I'm going under SD card and DCIM and I'm going to download a bunch of files. First, I'm going to download one file. This is it. Now I'm going to download three files at once. Thank you very much. See you next time.